Hello, my name is Dr. Daniel Bradley, and I'm a radiologist specializing in breast imaging at UCLA. Today, I would like to discuss a treatment for breast fibroadenomas called cryoablation. First, I would like to give a background on my education. I went to college at Stanford University, and I went to medical school at the University of Southern California. My internship was completed at University of Chicago, and my radiology residency and breast imaging fellowship were completed at UCLA. First, you may be wondering, what is a fibroadenoma? Fibroadenomas are the most common benign breast tumor found in women. They are very common in young women, often found between the ages of 15 to 35. The exact cause of a fibroadenoma is unknown, but there's thought to be a relationship with estrogen and progesterone. As these are benign tumors, they are not cancer. And if patients don't have symptoms, no treatment is necessary. However, sometimes patients may have symptoms related to pain or the size of the mass. Approximately 10% of women will experience a fibroadenoma within their lifetime. And these masses account for one half of all breast biopsies performed. This is an ultrasound image showing the classic appearance of a fibroadenoma. These masses tend to be well circumscribed and oval in shape with a homogeneous appearance. On physical exam, these masses are often rubbery or firm to the touch, and they often feel movable within the breast. So next you may be wondering, what is cryoablation? Cryoablation is a minimally invasive, non-surgical procedure that uses a small needle to freeze and destroy tumors. This is achieved by the creation of an ice ball. Within the ice ball, temperatures are extremely low, so low that the cells within a tumor cannot survive and are destroyed. Cryoablation is well established for treatment of tumors throughout the entire body, and it is widely performed by radiologists. Here we have a representation of a cryoablation needle and its associated ice ball. As you can see, in the area closest to the needle, temperatures reach as low as negative 40 degrees Celsius. So, can cryoablation treat fibroadenomas? So when it comes to treatment for fibroadenomas, we have multiple options. First, as I mentioned earlier, fibroadenomas are not cancer. So if patients do not have symptoms, they can elect for observation. However, if patients have symptoms related to pain or the size of the mass, they can elect for either surgery or they can elect for cryoablation. So cryoablation is approved by the FDA for the treatment of fibroadenomas, and many studies have demonstrated the safety and efficacy of cryoablation in treating fibroadenomas. Some of these studies are detailed in the chart. As you can see, 12 months after cryoablation, fibroadenomas experience a volume reduction ranging from 73 to 97%. Additionally, patient satisfaction rates range from 92 to 100%, demonstrating that this is an effective treatment. So what are the specific advantages of cryoablation in treating fibroadenomas? First, this is a minimally invasive procedure meaning that surgery is not required, so cosmetic outcomes tend to be improved. Second, as surgery is not required, there is no need for general anesthesia. Third, this is an outpatient procedure, meaning that there is no need for an extended hospital stay and patients can go home as soon as the procedure is completed. And fourth, because this is an outpatient procedure and non-surgical, patients rapidly return to their normal activities. So cryoablation is a very straightforward procedure. And so using ultrasound guidance, the cryoablation needle is inserted into the fibroadenoma. At that point, the ice ball is created to destroy the tumor. The procedure is very quick and takes under an hour. After that point, a small bandage is placed over the needle insertion site. And so in conclusion, cryoablation is a minimally invasive treatment for symptomatic breast fibroadenomas. There is minimal scarring, it is proven safe and effective, and there is no need for a hospital stay 
or extended recovery. Thank you for your time.